Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Plotkin and I am the Family Engagement Specialist at the CJE. This week's Parsha is Bereshi, the story of creation and how God created the world. I'm going to read a book called Light and it shows us not just, not just the story of creation, but how people bring light onto each other. Light. In the beginning, there was emptiness, like a blank canvas. Then, in a swirl of motion, the Creator made the world. The sun, the moon, and the stars were born. Still waters became rivers and oceans. Land became deep valleys and high mountains, blossoming with lush plants, trees, and fruit. Animals of all shapes, sizes, and colors appeared in the water, on the land, and in the clear blue sky. As a finishing touch, the creator wanted to paint everything with a special kind of light so the world would shine with goodness. The light was so powerful, it had to be stored away in a huge jar. But when the creator started to open the jar, it shook violently, tipped over, cracked and shattered. Sparks of light flew out. The creator couldn't find the missing pieces alone. Who could help? Birds, frogs, beasts? People were made to find the shards of light and bring them together again. Only then would the world be complete and perfect. People searched far and wide. They spied pieces sparkling on blades of grass, shimmering on sea kale and glistening on insect wings. They saw the light in animals' loving eyes. They discovered in each other and sometimes in themselves. Whenever people found the light, they felt contentment, joy, and peace. When they shared it with one another, there was no more hate, hunger, fear, or war. Many shards are still to be discovered. The world is incomplete and far from perfect. As long as people are searching for the pieces of light, finding them, and putting them back together, then there is hope that the world will be one. This book teaches us that even in the darkness, if we provide kindness to each other, we will bring light to all of the people around us. I hope your Shabbat is filled with light, love, and kindness. And I hope and I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.